hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting video and in this video we're going to talk about how we can set up Prometheus monitoring on Kubernetes so uh, if you've seen uh, Prometheus we have used Prometheus for different kind of uh, monitoring setup uh, using with uh, Prometheus uh, alert manager node exporter also integrating with Grafana and all those things you know I had a different playlist but this tutorial is a little bit more interesting because we are going to use uh, Prometheus for monitoring Kubernetes uh, where as far as you know it's considered it's uh, pretty simple as well because uh, in order to set up this Prometheus monitoring uh, in Kubernetes cluster we are going to use Helm so we also spoke about Helm charts how what Helm chart does and you know it's a, it's a package manager Helm is a package manager for Kubernetes so it simplifies your application so we'll talk about all those things like Prometheus what is the Prometheus how we are going to use it what the components as part of Prometheus we are going to uh, use in this uh, Kubernetes monitoring and you know what kind of metrics we can get uh, as part of this monitoring uh, we'll see uh, the Prometheus uh, GUI like what content we get you know what is alert manager in Prometheus so all those things we will discuss in this tutorial so before we get started into this actual topic I would request you like uh, if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel I'll be very happy like you can click on the subscribe button and also like my videos also press the bell icon so that you'll be notified if there is any new videos are released so uh, to get started you know let's talk about uh, what is uh, Prometheus so about Prometheus means you know if you are new to Prometheus Prometheus is an open source uh, system monitoring and alerting toolkit so we can use Prometheus to monitor most of all kind of applications or most kind of systems like whether Windows, Linux or different kind of applications, uh, how we can get the data using different kind of uh, node exporters and how Prometheus collects this data and the store uh, these metrics as time series data. So all those things, you know, uh, I will uh, uh, show you the playlist so you can refer that to get a complete details on Prometheus. So I will link this playlist into this video description so you can see this is a complete tutorial on Prometheus where I have showed you like how to set up Prometheus, the node exporters, how you can use it for monitoring uh, Docker, Jenkins, you know, all, all those things will be how to create your alerts uh, in the uh, email alerts or through Slack. All those things we have discussed in this playlist so you can have a look there. Now going back to our uh, discussion on this uh, Prometheus monitoring for uh, Kubernetes cluster. So Prometheus, you know, it collects the data and uh, saves these metrics as time series data. And also Prometheus gives an out-of-box monitoring capabilities for uh, uh, containers and Kubernetes orchestration platform. So we already used Q uh, Prometheus for monitoring Docker's. So now we are going to use it for as a, you know, a Kubernetes, uh, which is a Docker container orchestration platform. So let's uh, see a little bit of this architecture for Prometheus. So you can see like, you know, the main components for Prometheus is like you'll have a Prometheus server. So you can see like this Prometheus server will uh, have a components like uh, TSD, which is this time series database. And you'll also have HTTP, you know, uh, the, the scrapping like it will contact uh, to get the data and also to push the alerts. And you'll also have, you know, other pull metrics like node exporters will get, uh, you know, the data from different kind of uh, components like your system or nodes and you'll also have a different kind of uh, push metrics from jobs and you know for as far as uh, Kubernetes is con uh, concerned you know you'll have a different kind of discovery of targets from Kubernetes to Prometheus so that is easy way we can get all the details uh, from the Kubernetes API as well now uh, as far as concern about the alert manager it's a push metric so from Prometheus you can push these alerts into different kind of uh, you know uh, alerting mechanisms like pager duty or slack or emails etc and prometheus itself have a web ui and you know you can also see like promql which is a flexible query language that can be used uh, to query the metrics and uh, you know there are different kind of special exporters which we discussed like uh, node exporters ha proxy stat graphite and all those things and also alert manager to handle alerts we are not going to talk about grafana which is also a visualization tool which we will see in the upcoming tutorial how we will use uh, prometheus along with grafana so that we can have a complete 
uh, package of uh, Kubernetes monitoring store. But in this tutorial, we are going to see only about how to set up Prometheus and how we can see the data coming into Prometheus and what are different kind of metrics we will see in the Prometheus uh, uh, dashboard. Okay, so let's uh, moving on to a little bit more detail like uh, to deploy uh, Prometheus on Kubernetes. There are different way we can do it. So one of the normal way what we can do is manually deploying all this uh, uh, components like deployments, services, config maps, secrets, other configuration files, right? So for that you'll have to write different kind of YAML files and you'll also, uh, once you run these YAMLs, it will create the deployment services, uh, secrets and all those things, right? So, but this will be a complete manual task where you have to write all these uh, YAML files, manifest files, and then you have to run it manually to create you know all these uh, components right so for our prometheus to run but this is a you uh, know big task and uh, i don't prefer to do this that's why we have a lot of other better options so i prefer to use like you know since uh, we have a helm which is a package manager uh, for uh, kubernetes we can easily you know the most efficient way is to use helm chart because we already have uh, different helm charts uh, with pre uh, defined prometheus operators so that you know we can simply uh, run this uh, helm chart uh, which is maintained by helm community and we'll have our prometheus uh, running on the kubernetes so you don't have to manually create all the yaml files we already have a different helm charts uh, which we can use it to run the helm operator but if you want to uh, use uh, helm uh, prometheus operators manually that also possible uh, but a helm chart is the better way to do it so you can use the helm chart and you can run it to deploy the prometheus operators now let's talk about little bit like what is our monitoring uh, solution will look like so as i mentioned once we run this uh, helm uh, chart so we'll what we'll have it like we'll have a prometheus server uh, which will uh, you know contact the kubernetes api and kubernetes nodes right and it will use auto discovery you will uh, get the kube state metrics the node exporters uh, from the nodes you will have kubernetes components and all those things will be uh, pulled into the uh, metrics for kubernetes server right and you also have uh, alert manager where you can push this metrics using alert manager and it can be sent to different uh, components like slack or email or uh, pager duty or different uh, mechanism for delivering these notifications so that's how the overall uh, components you can set up uh, uh, based on this uh, uh, installation what we are going to do so uh, let's uh, get started with our uh, actual demo so I'm going to use uh, this machine where I have a Kubernetes setup and uh, in order to start if I show you kubectl get pods I don't have any pods running right if I go and check uh, all the components in this uh, cluster you can see there is only one service which is the default kubernetes cluster ip service which is running right you know i don't have any other deployments or pods or services nothing is running now what we are going to do is we are going to use helm chart right so let me follow the process to use the helm chart to install uh, prometheus so we are going to use uh, prometheus community helm chart so if you go to this github uh, location which i will also link into this video description they have uh, different kind of charts so you can see there are a lot of uh, separate charts like alert manager prometheus stack a lot of things what we are going to use we are going to use this uh, prometheus uh, uh, chart so we'll use this and uh, you can see the steps uh, what to do is we have to run uh, the repo you need to add this repo first then you can install the chart using helm install and give a release name and uh, install it using uh, prometheus community slash prometheus okay so you can see default also install dependent like state metrics uh, other things so let's get started so i'm just going to copy this and uh, i'll go to the machine i'll run it so you can see i already have it in this uh, one so that's why i'm it's getting skipped in your case if it's not there uh, it will be installing uh, this uh, repo okay so let me run this uh, helm repo update so that it can update the charts and repositories now you can see that is done so now what we have to do is we have to install so i'm going to use helm install and i'm going to call this uh, release as prometheus and i have to give the uh, na name of the chart right so it should be prometheus community slash uh, prometheus so i'm going to give that So let me run this so it will install the Prometheus uh, 
components now you can see it has completed the installation so it has given uh, the details like uh, you know it's deployed and uh, how you can access and all those things so let me clear out this screen let me show you what all the components we have now so if you if I go to Prometheus uh, sorry I, if I go and check the parts now you can see I have a Prometheus alert manager there is one um, part running for that there is a cube state metrics there is a node exporter there is a push gateway and there is a Prometheus server right so there are uh, different uh, you know uh, parts has been already created uh, in your case maybe it will take some time to create these parts because the image has to be downloaded in my case I think the image is already available so now you can see all uh, parts already so there is a two part right if I go and uh, get uh, all now you can see what we have it um, we have uh, these are the parts right and we also have uh, services we have one this is the default kubernetes services you have a prometheus alert manager service which is a cluster ip and this is also cluster ip in or uh, and the prometheus server is also cluster ip so none of these services is accessible from outside and you can also see there is a daemon set right so this node exporter is a daemon set and you also have a deployments which is for alert manager state metrics push gateway Prometheus server right and there are also replica set so you can see there are replica set for alert manager cube state metrics push gateway Prometheus server right so you can see this uh, helm chart it has done all this setup for uh, replica sets uh, services deployment the you know, parts all those things has been uh, done by itself we have not created our any manifest file uh, because if you have to do this you have to create multiple manifest file and you have to uh, run it right so now we have all these things set up and our service is also running but in order to access this uh, Prometheus from external IP we need to expose that as a node port right so let's do that so for that I will see kubectl get svc you have this Prometheus server I'm going to expose this from to outside so this is the service Prometheus server so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this command so this command if you see like I'm going to expose kubectl expose the service the service name is uh, Prometheus hyphen server okay so this is the uh, service and I'm going to name it as uh, node port and the target port is 1990 and I'm going to give this service a name like Prometheus server hyphen external so if I run this so you can see it has exposed and if I go and check the SVC there is one more service has been created right Prometheus server external and uh, no, it's a node port it's a type not a cluster IP it's a node port so now oh, you can see uh, we can uh, we should be able to access this uh, using external so since this I'm running this on a mini cube let me see the you know, uh, uh, URL to access this so in order to ac get that URL I'm going to use mini cube service and I'm going to run this so you can see this is the you know IP address and the port number so you can see it's also here like a this is the port number which we can uh, map so you can access it from outside so let me go back to my browser so let me put this IP address and port numbers now you can see we are accessing the Prometheus right so we are inside this Prometheus GUI so you can see it's not uh, as that good as like a Grafana or some other GUI which I said like uh, in the next tutorial we are going to see how we can use Prometheus and Grafana together to monitor Kubernetes uh, so in this uh, case we are going to stay with uh, Prometheus so now you can see in status and if I go to go targets you can see we have endpoints right so we have uh, the metrics which is coming from here and we also have the nodes which is uh, uh, this uh, node right and you also have a C advisor you also have uh, endpoints so you can see all these uh, targets you can see this Prometheus is up you can uh, push gateway so all these details are there now if you have uh, multiple nodes in your Kubernetes cluster all those things will be shown up here right and you also you know if I go and open this uh, metrics let me see if I go and use metrics Yep, you can see the metrics, right? So you can see different metrics uh, coming from Kubernetes. So you can use these metrics to you know, create your uh, uh, reports and all those things in the Kubernetes cluster. 
So you can see there are different kind of metrics which is coming from your Kubernetes, right? So you can see there are a lot of, lot of uh, metrics. I'm just trying to show you like uh, what are the metrics available here. And as I mentioned, like I have shown you different tutorials on Prometheus, like how we can make use of these metrics to create uh, reports and all those things. So now we've seen a different kind of uh, metrics, right? So now if you go to the graph, you can search like, you know, the metrics available. So now you can see there are some metrics for CPU. You can just execute that so you can see the uh, data is already coming, right? So you can also see like table content. Maybe you can check uh, what others available. Maybe disk info. You can see there are some graph already coming, right? So similar way you can use different kind of metrics to get the data uh, from the Kubernetes cluster and that will be shown up in the GUI. Now you can also see like there are other status where you can create rules for your uh, alert manager. I think you don't have anything. So you also have uh, different kind of configurations you can do like in here, uh, what kind of data is getting uh, scrapped and all those things. Uh, which you know as i told like i have explained uh, most of all these things in the kubernetes uh, and also the prometheus tutorial so you can refer that so in this tutorial i want to show you like how we can uh, configure you know uh, the prometheus and it's a pretty simple thing you have to use helm and you need to install it you just need to expose your service and you are back on the page where you can access your uh, prometheus and you should be able to use uh, Prometheus to create alerts you can uh, create your dashboard but as I mentioned the uh, Bottom option would be like you can use Grafana as well along with Prometheus so you can Integrate Prometheus to Grafana and we can create the charts and all those things Which I will show you it in the upcoming tutorial where I will show you like how we can install both Prometheus and Grafana And we can integrate together and we can use monitor for your uh, Kubernetes cluster and uh, I will also request you to refer this tutorial on uh, Prometheus where I will sh have shown you like how you can use alert manager. So you can use that as well here for creating alerts for your Kubernetes uh, cluster. You can configure your alerts, you can create your rules so that you know the alert manager can be used to send your alerts to your uh, components like Slack or you know uh, emails or pager duty or anything like that. So that is all uh, for this tutorial. I hope uh, this Kubernetes monitoring uh, using Prometheus is an important topic and it's an open source application so you don't have to pay anything for this uh, Prometheus as an application to configure your monitoring solutions. So if you are uh, you know, uh, want to continue watching more videos like this and I hope you uh, like this video so I would request you to subscribe to my channel and also like my videos, share and provide your feedback and also give your uh, it's in the comment section. So I would be happy to see what uh, is your feedback and what kind of videos you would like to see in the upcoming uh, sections. So thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.